It's not hard to imagine Donald Trump leading us into a war just because somebody got under his very thin skin. Americans aren't just electing a president in November. We're choosing our next commander in chief, the person we count on to decide questions of war and peace, life and death. And like many across our country and around the world, I believe the person the Republicans have nominated for president cannot do the job. Donald Trump's ideas aren't just different, they are dangerously incoherent. They're not even really ideas, just a series of bizarre rants, personal feuds, and outright lies. He is not just unprepared. He is temperamentally unfit to hold an office that requires knowledge, stability, and immense responsibility. This is not someone who should ever have the nuclear codes, because it's not hard to imagine Donald Trump leading us into a war just because somebody got under his very thin skin. Diplomacy is often the only way to avoid a conflict that could end up exacting a much greater cost. It takes patience, persistence, and an eye on the long game, but it's worth it. Take the nuclear agreement with Iran. When President Obama took office, Iran was racing toward a nuclear bomb. Some called for military action. But that could have ignited a broader war that could have mired our troops in another Middle Eastern conflict. President Obama chose a different path. And I got to work leading the effort to impose crippling sanctions. We brought Iran to the table, we began talks, and eventually we reached an agreement that should block every path for Iran to get a nuclear weapon. <laughs> Donald Trump says we shouldn't have done the deal we should have walked away. But that would have meant no more global sanctions and Iran resuming their nuclear program and the world blaming us. So then what? War? Telling the world, good luck, you deal with Iran? Of course, Trump doesn't have answers to those questions. Donald Trump doesn't know the first thing about Iran or its nuclear program. Ask him. It'll become very clear very quickly. Now imagine Donald Trump sitting in the Situation Room, <laughs> making life or death decisions on behalf of the United States. Imagine him deciding whether to send your spouses or children into battle. Imagine if he had not just his Twitter account at his disposal when he's angry, but America's entire arsenal. Do we want him making those calls? Someone thin-skinned and quick to anger who lashes out at the smallest criticism. Do we want his finger anywhere near the button? No. Well, I have a lot of faith that the American people will make the right decision. This is a country with a deep reservoir of common sense and national pride, and we're all counting on that. Because making Donald Trump our Commander-in-Chief would be a historic mistake, and it would undo so much of the work that Republicans and Democrats alike have done over many decades to make America stronger and more secure. It would set back our standing in the world more than anything in recent memory. And it would fuel an ugly narrative about who we are, that we're fearful, not confident, that we want to let others determine our future for us instead of shaping our own destiny. 
That's not the America I know and love.